the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Still in summer and still going to be very hot and humid here across the Wabash Valley. We haven't seen a lot of 90 degree temperatures through most of the summer, but it's been the humidity that's really been killing us for most of the past few weeks and no different for today. I'm expecting a pretty humid afternoon out there once again. If you do have to get out this afternoon, a very slight chance to see a pop up rain shower or a thunder shower. Not expecting anything severe, but the humidity out there will be oppressive. So grab the water if you are going to be out for long periods of time to take your breaks. Temperatures warming up to about 87 degrees today, 85 by 7 o'clock, and that's when we'll start to introduce that chance for some stray rain showers, about a 20% chance, but most of us today will be on the dry side. We have some clouds moving on through for our early afternoon, some heavier, thicker clouds to the north as well to the south, but we're going to slowly start to chip away at that as we head through the day today, allowing for some daytime heating and then it kind of goes in reverse and we'll start to see some more clouds develop as we start to see some of that heat. But for now, we will start to chip away at some of those clouds and bring in some sunshine for our early afternoon. Here's the Storm Team 10 storm tracker. We're not dealing with any precipitation as of right now. We had a few storms pass through late last night and maybe early this morning to the south. But now we're looking OK here across the region from all the way Rockville down to Flora and all the way to Vincennes. Just nice afternoon here so far across the Wabash Valley. As we're moving forward, though, we'll start to see those isolated storms pick up an activity. No widespread precipitation, at least for the meantime. Wednesday will be our best chance for that as a cold front moves on through. But Behind that cold front will actually dry things out and will become more comfortable as we go into our Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So for now, the next couple days are just going to be a little humid. Here's the big picture. This is what we have going on. We have a northwest uh, flow going on. We have a high pressure just to the south. And what it's actually going to do is kind of kick things out of here for at least the meantime, but that's going to fall backwards as we get into about our Wednesday, and that's going to lead to the vulnerability for a cold front to move on through as we get into our Wednesday. So let's look at our trusty Storm Team 10 future cast. This is one of the models that we use in house and that helps us figure out your forecast for the day. This is just one of them and it's just picking up on some isolated rain showers and some thunder showers as we get into the evening hours here. Six o'clock here, five o'clock in Illinois, as you could tell, very spotty and isolated rain showers. Like I said, most of us should be staying dry for our day to day. Overall, just hot and humid. Take your time outdoors once again. Tuesday morning, here's 7 o'clock for your morning commute. If you do need to get out tomorrow morning, we'll be all right. We shouldn't be seeing that rain for the morning commute. It's just going to be another sort of cloudy start to the day tomorrow before we'll bring back another chance for some spotty rain showers and isolated thunder showers by tomorrow afternoon. Stay mostly to the east at this time. It'll be Wednesday, though, as we get through our Monday and our Tuesday of just hot and humid weather, where we start to see some more clouds moving on in. And by Wednesday morning, we're tracking a cold front that can move on through and produce some more widespread rain across the region. And man, Indianapolis has seen a lot of rain fall so far, about 10 inches more than we have here in Terre Haute. So that might add to some of that come uh, Wednesday. Flood alerts. We still have the flood warning along the Wabash River, 16 feet, and it's actually rising for the next couple of days due to all the rain that we saw to the north. That's something that we will be dealing with as we do move forward. You can get some updates at WTHITV.com as we look at your seven day forecast 90 come Tuesday and Wednesday before we dry up nicely and cool off Thursday, Friday and Saturday temperatures in the mid 80s. Rondra.